TroopResource.org, trying to put a thousand skills into every troop's backpack. So, welcome everybody to the December Troop Resource TV show. And uh, tonight, of course, we have with us Randy, the man, Hardy. Hardy ho, neighbor. And we have Steve Perrone. Good evening. Fantastic. So tonight we got a great show for you. We are going to be talking about consumer technology. We got a whole bunch of technology here to show you. Uh, anybody want to kick it off, or do you want me to kick it off? Well, yeah, sure. I'll kick it off, Scott. I've got this uh, brand new, latest, state of the art. <laughs> you killed me. This is uh, this is a BlackBerry. You probably not heard of these, Scott, but um, mm -hmm. it's state of the art. <clears throat> it's going to be taking over the nation. And I predict that they're going to call them crackberries. <laughs> what do you think of that? Uh, I think that uh, somebody set the Wayback Machine for a 1982. That's what I think. Wow, wow. Well, then I think you're really going to be pleasantly surprised with my next piece of technology that I think the scouts will be able to use. This is, this is called a Palm Pilot. <laughs> Right, so it's like a little <laughs> handheld computer, mm, that's and you can great. you can take notes, and there's a thing called a stylus, which yeah. is really a pen, uh -huh. and you can write on it. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. It's cutting edge. I mean, this, awesome. These things are going to be around for the next twenty, thirty years. They certainly will be in someone's drawer for the next twenty or thirty years, <laughs> waiting for this show. <laughs> I had one of those. Holy smokes! When was it? It was back in two thousand. 2002. Give it a little shot of that. Okay. I'm going to see that a little better. There we go. Yeah. There's the shorthand oh, for yeah. writing on the back with the stylus. That's right. Now, these things 17 years ago were cutting edge. They were. They were really amazing. Yeah. Really amazing. And they tried to come back with the, the BlackBerry recently as well with the key. First, then they went strictly to touchscreen, and then people complained, and then they came back with the keyboard, and now they're sort of off the map. Yeah, yeah. Who did RIM sell to? Did they sell to Corel in Canada? Oh. All right. So let's talk for just a moment about the Amazon Echo, which looks like this. These are probably the most amazing device. Either of you have one of these? No. I, I think you said that wrong, Scott. Well, it is the Echo. But it's people the call Amazon, it. Amazon, Echo, Echo. <laughs> Also known as the Alexa, because that's the name that everybody has to say. Oops, she turned on because I said her name. Absolutely cool device. Simple, simple to set up. You plug it in. You follow a couple of things off of the Alexa app. Alexa, what is the wind speed velocity of a sparrow? This might answer your question. Sparrow's top speed is 24.85 miles per hour. Did that answer your question? It did. What is the top speed of the wild turkey? Sorry. I don't know that one. <laughs> <laughs> Darn! So you can ask this device, we'll call it this device, lots and lots of different questions. Uh, I've got an entire list of questions which I'll actually post up on the website for people. But uh, in the morning, I can ask it, Alexa, what's the weather today? In Springfield, it's 38 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, you can look for cloudy skies moving in and out with a low of 32 degrees. Which is amazing. I can set uh, alarms on it as well. I can set timers on it as well. Probably my favorite things to do is... Can you I'll, set your coffee mug on it? Because it looks like a coaster. It does like, it look like a coaster. It does look like a coaster. Yeah. Uh, Alexa, play my cool jazz station. Oh, no. Not cool again. jazz radio from Pandora. Please don't make me do that again, Scott. All right, so you can hear it's just a low volume at the moment. I can say, Alexa, volume 10. <clears throat> Alexa. Alexa, do you got 11? Most blokes are well on the way at 10, but we got 11. You've confused her. Sorry, I don't know that one. Alexa, skip. We are on a mission. Oh, this is a commercial. Pandora Mary. gives commercials. So, St. So, Mary right. has doctors from the country. Alexa, stop. And you can set sleep timers as well. For instance, I can say, Alexa, set sleep timer to 20 minutes. Sleep timer for 20 minutes, starting now. 
Which is awesome. So now she'll I'm sure play my, my Palm music. Pilot has an alarm clock too. <laughs> yeah, it does. And I can uh, have her play for twenty minutes, whatever music I want, and then she goes off and I go to sleep, which is awesome. Speaking of sleeping, here's something else that is of my own manufacture. Right, this actually is a set of headphones that I bought at Five Below. I was going to say, it looks like a headphone earpiece. That's exactly what it is. And in standard using, they broke. So I took it and broke it in half and ripped off this one ear muff, which has the connecting wire on it. And I can now plug this into Alexa if I want and slip this piece under my pillow. So I can listen to music and not bother my wife, which I think is absolutely awesome. I, I fail to see how you listening to music stops you from bothering your wife. <laughs> huh? well, Randy, I know that you coming over and doing this show, that bothers my wife. <laughs> <laughs> so let me try this, uh, show you one more thing, and then I'll pass it over to Randy, who's going to show you more outdated equipment, I'm sure. Okay, so <laughs> Alexa, play my cool jazz station. Cool jazz radio from Pandora. Okay, so this next piece is a Bluetooth Bose speaker, which I happen to like a lot very much. Uh, I will tell a you lot a lot very much. A mm. lot very much. I do hap happen to like a very lot. Very presidential there. Right there. <laughs> so if this is within three feet, it'll automatically pick up the music and play, which is fantastic. This particular one, I think, has way too much bass to it. It sounded great in the store when I bought it. And I can rock this house with the bass. As a matter of fact, our neighbors asked if Zach was learning how to play electric guitar because the house was just absolutely rocking with this. But it doesn't give you good mid-range and it doesn't give you good treble. So I'm not recommending this particular one. I actually have a couple of speakers that I bought at Staples for $10, which I like very much. And you can get them at BJ's as well. And, uh, and I think they're actually better than the bows because they give more trouble. You can hear the music. So there you go. That's my report on Amazon Alexa. All right. <clears throat> Some serious technology here. We just used one of these. And it's not state of the art. It's not cutting edge. But um, they've become a heck of a lot more affordable recently. I, I believe I paid a little over $200 for this one. <clears throat> and, um, and what is it? It is a GoPro. Nice. It is a um, waterproof GoPro. It has a little clamp there. It has a little door. Um, I'm going to turn it on by pressing that button right there. And you can see on the back, it has a little video screen. It's touch. Um, and it's great for outdoor sports, if you're going to go whitewater rafting, if you're going to go zip lining like we did, um, bike riding, and you want to um, have a hands-free video nice. of it, this essentially is a uh, harness that goes around your chest, and then this strapped right there. There are helmet um, <clears throat> mounts where you can put it on a bicycle helmet. Right. <clears throat> the knockoffs, the GoPros are still relatively <clears throat> expensive, but there's a, a bunch of knockoffs that are just as good. Hmm. And they're down to $40, $50 for this. No kidding. Um, <clears throat> you can go to Amazon.com. You can get this little chest mount. You can get a little flotation uh, device that will clamp onto this. You can get the mounts and the screws that screw on. Highly recommend these for the kids and the family. Um, this thing will run for about two and a half, three hours on the battery. The kids love them. They are awesome. They are. Matter of fact, we've got a video out on the Troop Resource uh, YouTube page that is from our treetop adventure, where uh, I had it on a bike helmet that I wore into the trees and, and recorded our event. It was very cool. My next little piece of technology isn't really new or but it's a, it's a Chromebook kids have them at school <clears throat> this is an HP Chromebook um, 
you can get them literally for about $120. Um, no kidding. If you search and find a good sale, I think that's what I paid for this one. I paid 120 on Woot.com for this thing. Woot? Woot. What is Woot? And it is a little laptop computer. Uh, it has a browser. It has some uh, You know, I have word an iPad processing. that I bought a Zag keyboard for, which is a military-style rugged keyboard. I think I spent $120 just on the keyboard. Right. And... <clears throat> I've, we've had this for about three years now. Um, he's taken it to school. He gets a Chromebook at school, mm -hmm. but if he forgets to bring it home, he can use this at home and log in, which he's forgotten numerous times, <laughs> and tr in an attempt to get out of his homework, and then they can't get out of their homework. But again, uh, this is an HP. The kids have mm -hmm. Dells at school. The worst case scenario, I think you're paying $200 for the Dell. Chromebook, hmm. and it's we take it on vacation, and uh, if we need to browse the web, and we use <clears throat> so what that what, what, what makes along with my iPhone, right? And I create a hotspot with my iPhone, and I've got internet anywhere with my iPhone. Awesome. So, what's the difference between a Chromebook and a laptop? I mean, what you, what, you, what, you mean you don't know, Scott? All right, so let's tell our viewers, what's the difference between a Chromebook and a laptop? Well, a laptop, uh, for instance, has way more um, storage and memory. Okay. This. So this doesn't have a lot of memory. Laptop um, has more RAM. It's faster. It's got, um, you can load software on it. Um, this you can download some software from uh, from Google um, and some other things, but you can't. There's no way to load anything on this. Okay. Because um, because the way Zach uses that for school uh -huh. is he's got uh, these apps from Google that he right. sort of uses online. Like I don't know what it's called. Google Classroom. Classroom. Okay. Google, Google Classroom. Edit. Google. I mean, I would say Word, but Google Editor. Google. Oh, oh yes, Sheets, yes. Google, there are. There's a whatever. word processor in here. <laughs> Correct. Okay, so is that loaded on the machine? It's loaded on the machine. In the cloud. It's already loaded on the machine. Okay, awesome. And then when he does stuff in school, it gets loaded up on the cloud, so then when he can come home, he can access it and do his assignments and right. turn it back in to his The Google teacher. Classroom is on the cloud. Okay. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, but I believe I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, the apps are in here, and you need them in here in order to utilize and Okay. You could save a few. You could save a few things to this, but it doesn't have a lot of memory. Okay. Um, but it seems to do the job. Really it does nicely. the job, and for the price, we've had it for three years. We've took it, taken it on vacations. I've been able to find restaurants, you know, uh, venues to get kayaks or rent kayaks or right. What can you can you hook? an external drive or a thumb drive or anything you like sure that? can okay. yes it has uh it has uh, hdi it has uh usbs uh, yes okay. so you could put an external cool drive on because i know i lug my laptop back and forth from work and it is so it's heavy. heavy right this weighs <clears throat> all of like two and a half three pounds right very light yeah i got a big 17 inch thick thing with drives and, and then I, DVD I, drives. I and was going to bring my uh, my Raspberry Pi. Ah, yes. But I figured you have one and you'd have it down here, but you don't. You know, I opened up my ditty bag full of tech that I usually show off to people at work, and, uh, and it wasn't in there. Now, I know Zach's got his Raspberry Pi right over here on Hook to the TV. He's turned it into a multimedia center where he can play movies and play games and things of that nature. Um, you know what? Why don't we put the camera on you for a second, and I'll go get it. All right, so. And, and again, these are small computers, extremely small computers, but it has an operating system on it. It has um, uh, coding software built into it, so you can teach kids how to code. It is approximately... What is that, about $70? This one's 35 And then, then the case. 
Right. The case, I think, was 10. And then Zach has a, an external drive on it right here that holds his games and his movies and all that kind of stuff. So literally, it's a $45 device. I bought these, uh, this for him and one for me last Christmas. And we've got what's called a breadboard, which you can use these pins to connect to right here, and then you connect them into the breadboard, and you can make things like stop lights go on and off and push buttons. And they've actually, you can turn it into a, if you hook a, a camera onto it, you can make what they call a photo booth, where you push a button and it takes a quick photo of you. It's, it's pretty fun stuff, but these, these are amazing, amazing. Yeah. Uh, ours was about 70 bucks, and I think we have a few extra bells and whistles with ours. Right. So. This is the old version. This is the two. They've come out with a three just within the last week or so. Those are uh, now being shipped. They also have what's called the, uh, the Pi Zero, which is literally about a third of this size. It's a strip just about this big, and the Pi Zero can do amazing things too, and that only costs 10 bucks. So this is a, we loaded a, a word processor onto this and a spreadsheet onto this, yep. and we hooked a keyboard up through the USB connection right here, and we hooked a monitor up through the HDMI connection right here, and we've right. got a full computer for 45 bucks. I mean, it's just amazing. But I just bought for Christmas a cordless mouse and a cordless keyboard for, for Logan. Right. So now he can sit in bed with the keyboard and the mouse. Um, it goes right on his TV in his room. Yeah. Um, it's awesome. You can browse the internet with it. You, Ours came with the spreadsheets. Right. And it, it came with a few other um, things on the operating system. Oh, this has got a memory card. It's, uh, and we've got, I think, 16... 16 gigs of memory. It's this little memory card right here. Awesome devices. Yeah. There's a, a magazine out there called the Magpie. And it's produced in England. And it costs a lot in order to get it shipped over here and all that kind of stuff. But I subscribed for a year. And they had all kinds of different projects you could do. Do with it. On, right, yeah. And, and you can go online. <clears throat> they have a website. Right. And you Log in. We just haven't explored ours. Right. To the There's actually a group that's called uh, the Maker Group, uh, and they've got got them all over the country. Alexa, play the Maker Group. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. I don't believe you, Scott. There is no Maker Group. <clears throat> so, uh, uh, we've got one in Philadelphia, and it's down in Gray's Ferry, and they've got all kinds of. I mean, it's not just electronics. They've got lathes down there and metal cutting and electronics and people that just like to make things come in and they learn from each other and get to use the tools and all those kinds of things. So that's really an awesome, awesome program or group that's out there as well. Big Newton of his imagination. You know what? I could bring it up online here and show you, but I don't want to show you up. <laughs> so, Steve. Yes, sir. You're here as a non technical person. There's low tech and no tech. <laughs> and I am no tech. So, have we been doing blah, 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 ginger? Oh, I've enjoyed it. I think uh, it, this is about as, uh, as high tech as I get. Uh, compass. Nice. Yeah, it's very scouting. Randy, you're familiar with that one? I am familiar with that one. Uh, you've pointed me in the right direction. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I've got another one here that's just a little bit higher tech. You ever seen one of these? Take a look at this one. I'm not sure. Show that, that one, one up on the camera. It, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a compass and it's a stun gun. Oh, you're doing something right there, though. Uh, you might have an opening there to look through. Oh, there we go. That, that is pretty cool. It's like a kaleidoscope. Oh, no, I'm just looking at Scott. <laughs> I am multifaceted. Oh, that is pretty cool. So now you can see the degrees. Correct. It's a, it's a little more accurate than the standard yeah. compass that the scouts have. They can uh, actually focus in on uh, whatever it is, a tree, whatever, and get the actual reading in numbers instead of having to turn the dial. 
And, 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 uh, and I see this is from Finland. From Finland. Who knew? Who knew? The Finns. So, very cool. What else have we got? Randy was talking about using his iPhone as a MiFi, and I've got a little Verizon MiFi here as well. These are sort of nice. Uh, these work off of cellular, and when you work in a secure environment like I do, they don't want you to use public websites in restaurants and hotels or anything like that, so Airports. you tend to use a MiFi instead. So you plug this in, and all of a sudden you've got network. And you go out on the internet and log in to wherever you want to log in using one of these, which is very cool. And then for our television viewers who would like to cut the cord, we have here a Roku. It just looks like a little black box. There we go, a big three on it. This is the Roku 3. It's the older model. But this, if you, if you cut the cable cord, now you granted you're only cutting the TV portion out because you still need internet to use these. But you can get HBO Go on it. You can get Sling TV, which gives you a lot of different Netflix. channels. Netflix, things of that nature. So uh, that can take your cable bill down from 130 bucks a month to probably less than 100 bucks a month. And these take memory cards as well. Uh, they go right back in here, but they connect HDMI to your TV. And you use a little remote that looks like this. And uh, I can actually talk to this remote. That's what I love with the TVs, is I hit the microphone button and I say, play HBO, and it goes right to HBO. My, my wife knows all the channels. I don't know any of the channels. I can say, play the Eagles game, and it goes to the Eagles game, and I don't know where or what channel that's on, so it's really awesome. We are getting close to our bewitching half an hour. Any final words for us, oh, master of technology? I, uh, I don't have any uh, final words, um, <laughs> surprisingly. Steve? Steve? Christmas time coming up. Is there any of these that might make good uh, good presents for a scout? Every single one of them would make a great present for anybody that's interested in technology. None of this is particularly related to scouting activities, mm -hmm. but you know they're they're good for around the home and around the house and all those kinds of things. The other thing that I happen to really like the uh, Amazon product. I don't want to say her name again she turns on, is um, I bought little what are called Wemo plugs and I can turn lights on and off in the house and I can turn, actually I've got a wreath out hanging over my garage and I can turn that on and off and that may seem a little bit like a luxury, which it is, but you know when it gets snowy and cold or rainy and wet and I want to turn the darn thing on I just tell Alexa, sorry, off, um, to, uh, to, uh... Sorry, I'm not sure. Um, let's do this. Alexa, turn light on. Okay. There, she just turned the light on. And Alexa, light off. Okay. There, she just turned it off, which is fantastic. I mean, I absolutely love that. And I do have a uh, power strip with a remote control that I can turn on and turn off from right. the inside, right? Turn the lights on. And those are so cool. They are. But most of the time I forget to turn the light on or off until I'm already in bed, and I don't have to get out of bed to turn the darn thing off. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot my last piece of technology. This is, this is cutting. Wait, let me, wait. I can't wait. Hello? <laughs> Hello? That's right. That's right. Yeah, this is the new shoe phone. <laughs> you guys, this is the greatest invention in the entire world. I, you know, if I could come up with a tune, a theme song tune in my head, I would have hummed it there, but I, I can't remember. All right. Well, I think that wraps us up for tonight. I uh, hope you all enjoy this particular show. We'll have it out on our YouTube channel. You can go see our YouTube channel by getting on the YouTube and typing in Troop Resource. You can go to our Facebook page by typing uh, Troop Resource. And you can also go to our webpage, which is www.troopresource.org.
And get those orders in for those shoe phones before Christmas. (laughs) Thanks, everybody. See you next time. Good night. Good night. Troopresource.org, trying to put a thousand skills into every troop's backpack.